Hey guys, so previously we did a video on the Boys Don't Cry murders, the one where Brandon Tina, the transgender uh, female to male um, man, was killed by two lowlifes in Nebraska. Um, in particular, there was one John Lauder. Now, one of my viewers put a comment recently that was brought to my attention that there was an update in Nebraska with the execution. Um, it's always amazed me that he sat on death row all this time and, you know, doesn't have any execution. Now, they've started to move forward with the executions at this point with a very um, controversial lethal cocktail. So they're using a four, four drug combination that's being held up in the courts and it's going to be a benzodiazepine which is similar to uh, like a Xanax or a Klonopin, uh, fentanyl, which we all are aware of because of the opioid uh, crisis, uh, potassium chloride, and a muscle uh, relaxant, for lack of a better word. So the benzodiazepine would actually calm the person down. The fentanyl would basically knock them out. The tranquilizer, will make it so that they can't move any muscles. And then finally, the potassium chloride stops the heart. Um, this was actually used on a different inmate, which uh, I'll put a uh, below. I'll, I can't remember the name, but I'll put a, I'll put it in the description below. And this, uh, this execution, basically, for lack of a better word, was also botched. They said that uh, people that viewed it had never seen anything like this, where they actually had a cover up the, uh, they had to close the curtains so that people wouldn't see what was happening. The, uh, the gentleman's face turned blue, and they said it took almost an hour and a half, which you know people are saying is cruel and unusual. Um, not making a moral judgment on this either way, but uh, from what I understand, this uh, four-drug cocktail may actually be used on uh, John Lauder, and um, yeah, we'll have to see, but that's the update.